a play is really about two people who are called to resuscitate one another. And so the play is really about a kind of resurrection and a kind of um, coming together in order to overcome some really dark uh, obstacles. Another way to put it is the play is also about um, two people who feel that they don't deserve the baby that, they're, that they've given birth to, and they lose it. And when they lose it, they have to earn their way back to the baby through memory. So they take a kind of journey back into their relationship. It catapults through time. So the characters are constantly unearthing things that they bring back to the present. It's a kind of like an archeological dig as they go through the past. There are large odysseys taken that are done with language. I think one of the great things about the script is the mystery of who these people are what their backstory is, I mean, they don't even know. Loretta and I have very, just scratched the surface of what the sonic world of this play is going to be. And um, just like you, Alex, and Ed Burke, and everyone, we're just gonna keep digging and sort of see how we jump back and forth, and what the world is, and how we can make it spooky when it needs to be. You know, in an Octavio Solis play, there are always, there's a closet full of skeletons. You can't have any drama without secrets, lies, and betrayals. <laughs> there's gotta be those. What I want to do is let's just look at the blocking here. I'm, I'm really leading into the beat after he leaves, too. The ownership of that is really incredible for both of you. Well, and also the ownership of being together. Yes! Having Sean San Jose with Rod Knapp, and then you add Sarah Nina Hayon. The chemistry between those three are just remarkable. I like the directness of looking him in the eye, but I like the space. Yeah, me too. I like the space. Well, she did set the Yeah, I want to set the Yeah. One of the things that we have also done for this production is build an altar that consists of items that are personal to us, that speak also to our connection, everyone's connection to the work. I believe in working with people who will take the work personally. The script is, will, can only thrive from that. Our magic audiences love something that stays ahead of them. We love a well-made, psychologically linear play, but what Octavio does is something that is uh, much more uh, animated and involves the audience in a really cool way.